on a road deep in the depths of Bristol, at the foot of St Michael's Hill. There is a cafe, which appears like any other, but this is no ordinary cafe. This cafe will mess with your mind. Although the lines on the wall are parallel, the squares appear as wedges. Discovered by Steve Simpson, this phenomenon is known as the cafe wall illusion. Priscilla Hurd and Richard Gregory tried to recreate this illusion uh, with springs and uh, slide projectors. Today we're going to try and recreate it with nothing more than a pen and a piece of paper. But despite my best efforts, I failed to recreate the cafe wall illusion. Oh look, it's Border Locking and the Café Wall Illusion by Richard Gregory and Priscilla Hurd. So, according to Richard Gregory and Priscilla Hurd, a, a few things have gone wrong in my drawing. The first thing is that there's not enough contrast between the black, the black squares and the grey squares, which have colours in in pencil. Stupid me. The second thing is that the lines between the squares are too thick. Therefore, if, and if they're too thick, it dispels the illusion. Um, the third thing that I've got wrong is that uh, it's not very well drawn. They're quite wobbly. If, if, if it looks like an illusion, it's probably because it's drawn wrong. And the fourth thing is that the dividing, these are called mortar lines. The mortar lines have to be of a contrasting colour. And it has to be of a colour between the black and the grey, or the white, whatever we go for. So um, I'm going to have to invest in some more pens. So, we had succeeded in recreating the cafe wall illusion, but still, I thought we could do better. <laughs> 